Basilica Minor del Santo Nino in Cebu City. The Basilica Minor del Santo Nino is a Roman Catholic minor basilica located in Cebu City, Philippines. It is one of the oldest churches in the Philippines, having been built in the 16th century by the Spanish colonizers. The basilica houses the Santo Nino de Cebu, a miraculous image of the child Jesus that is said to have been given by the Portuguese explorer Ferdinand Magellan to the wife of Raja Humabon, the ruler of Cebu, in 1521. The image is considered to be the oldest religious relic in the Philippines and is venerated by Catholics from all over the country. The basilica has undergone several renovations and expansions over the centuries, with the most recent restoration taking place in 2013. It is a popular pilgrimage site for Catholics, especially during the annual Sinulog Festival in January, which celebrates the arrival of the Santo Nino in Cebu. Visitors to the basilica can view the Santo Nino image which is enshrined in a glass case and adorned with jewels and gold. The basilica also has a museum that displays artifacts and relics related to the history of the church and the devotion to the Santo Nino. It is located at Pilgrim Center, Osmina Boulevard, Cebu City, 6000 Cebu. San Agustin Church in Manila San Agustin Church is a very old church located in Intramuros, Manila. It was built in the 16th century by the Spanish colonizers who came to the Philippines. The church is famous for its beautiful architecture and historical significance. The church has a big wooden door that leads to the entrance. Inside, there are beautiful paintings on the walls and ceilings, and there are many statues of saints. There is also a big altar at the front where people can pray. One interesting thing about San Agustin Church is that it has a museum where people can learn more about the history of the church and the Philippines. The museum has old artifacts, like statues and paintings, that are hundreds of years old. There are also displays that show what life was like for the people who lived in the Philippines during the Spanish colonial period. San Agustin Church is still an active church, which means that people still go there to attend Mass and pray. It is also a popular tourist attraction for people who want to learn more about the history of the Philippines and the Catholic faith. Overall, San Agustin Church is a beautiful and important place that has been a part of the Philippines for hundreds of years. It is located at General Luna Street, Intramuros, Manila, 1002 Metro Manila. Payoe Church in Ilocos Norte Payoe Church is a very old church located in Ilocos Norte, in the northern part of the Philippines. It was built in the 18th century by the Spanish colonizers who came to the Philippines. The church is famous for its unique and beautiful architecture. The church has a big front entrance with two towers on either side. The towers have big bells that ring out across the town. Inside, there are many paintings on the walls and ceilings, and there are also many statues of saints. There is also a big altar at the front where people can pray. One interesting thing about Payaway Church is that it is made of coral stones that are glued together with egg whites. This is called Baroque earthquake architecture and it was developed by the Spanish to make their buildings more earthquake resistant. Payaway Church is still an active church, which means that people still go there to attend Mass and pray. It is also a popular tourist attraction for people who want to see the unique architecture and learn more about the history of the Philippines. Overall, Payaway Church is a beautiful and important part of Philippine history and culture. 
It is a testament to the ingenuity and creativity of the Spanish colonizers who built it, and it is a symbol of the enduring faith of the Filipino people. It is located at Marcos Avenue, Payoa, Ilocos Norte. Quiapo Church in Manila Quiapo Church is a Catholic church located in Manila, Philippines. It is also known as the Minor Basilica of the Black Nazarene because it houses a life-sized image of Jesus Christ carrying the cross, which is believed to have miraculous powers. The church has a big front entrance with two towers on either side. Inside, there are many paintings and sculptures of saints, including the Black Nazarene. The church is always busy with people praying and attending Mass, especially during the Feast of the Black Nazarene, which is celebrated every January 9th. One interesting thing about Quiapo Church is that it is located in a bustling market district, where people come to buy all kinds of things, from clothes to food to religious items. Outside the church, there are many vendors selling candles, rosaries, and other religious items that people can use to pray and show their devotion. Quiapo Church is also known for its role in Philippine history, as it has been the site of many important events and protests. It is a symbol of the deep faith and resilience of the Filipino people, and a place where people can come together to pray and find hope in difficult times. Overall, Quiapo Church is an important and vibrant part of Philippine culture and history. It is a place where people can come to show their devotion, find comfort, and connect with their faith and community. It is located at 391 Quiapo, Manila, 1001 Metro Manila. The Church of Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception in Baclayan, Bohol. The Church of Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception is a very old church located in Baclayan, Bohol, Philippines. It was built in the 18th century by the Spanish colonizers who came to the Philippines. The church is famous for its beautiful architecture and historical significance. The church has a big wooden door that leads to the entrance. Inside, there are many paintings on the walls and ceilings, and there are also many statues of saints. There is also a big altar at the front where people can pray. One interesting thing about the Church of Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception is that it is made of coral stones that are glued together with a mixture of egg white, lime, and seashells. This is called Boholano Baroque and it is a unique style of architecture that can only be found in Bohol. The church is still an active church, which means that people still go there to attend Mass and pray. It is also a popular tourist attraction for people who want to learn more about the history of the Philippines and the Catholic faith. Unfortunately, the church was damaged during an earthquake in 2013, but it has since been restored and reopened to the public. Overall, the Church of Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception is a beautiful and important part of Philippine history and culture. It is a testament to the ingenuity and creativity of the Spanish colonizers who built it, and it is a symbol of the enduring faith of the Filipino people. Located in Baclayan Art Museum National Shrine of Our Mother of Perpetual Help in Baclaran, Paranac City. The National Shrine of Our Mother of Perpetual Help is a Catholic church located in Baclaran, Paranac City, Philippines. It is also known as the Redemptorist Church because it is run by the Redemptorist Fathers, a Catholic religious order. The church is very big and has a lot of space for people to pray and attend Mass. It is famous for its beautiful statue of Our Mother of Perpetual Help, which is believed to have miraculous powers. People come from all over the country to pray to the statue and ask for help and guidance. Inside the church, there are many paintings and sculptures of saints, as well as a big altar where the priests say Mass. The church is always busy with people coming and going, 
and there is a sense of community and belonging that can be felt by everyone who visits. One interesting thing about the National Shrine of Our Mother of Perpetual Help is that it is a center for social outreach and charity. The Redemptorist Fathers and the church community work together to help the poor and marginalized, providing food, clothing, shelter, and other forms of assistance to those in need. The church is also known for its Novena Prayers, which are a series of prayers said over nine days to ask for divine intervention and help. The Novena Prayers are said every Wednesday, and many people come to the church to participate and seek comfort and guidance. Overall, the National Shrine of Our Mother of Perpetual Help is a very important and meaningful part of Philippine culture and Catholic faith. It is a place of worship, community, and charity, and a symbol of the deep faith and compassion of the Filipino people.